Excuse me? Are you guys... You guys see that, right? Yo, this is like some world world stuff right here happening. No. No, that's just creepy, dude. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Desolate. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. This right here looked very intriguing to me because it's a multiplayer open world, kind of like survival horror game in a post-apocalypse setting. And honestly, that post-apocalyptic setting just reminds me so much of Stalker. So if you're a fan of Stalker, I think you would definitely enjoy this one here. There's a lot of like interesting monsters and enemies and that slightly like paranormal stuff in there. It's fairly cool. All that said and done, though, let's get into the game. I think I'm gonna go into prologue first, just so we can have an idea what the game's about. At least give us some background information, and then we'll jump into the survive uh, campaign here. So let's um, get to it. We did it, Donna. We did it. Victor, are you okay? Everything's fine, Donna. Everything's perfect. <laughs> Victor, listen. complex might collapse at any moment. I'll use the sensors to try and help you. My darling, they likely already know that it's you. Be careful, I beg you. <laughs> okay, we're good to go? That, I wasn't scared, I, I just, you know, I moved back, I was getting my, my control, well, shut up. Yeah, we have a body here. Uh, make your way through the archive, zero of one. Hey buddy, how you doing? Doesn't seem like you're doing too well with those, um, racks of- okay. No. Alright, look, here's one thing. It's one thing you give me, like, you know, post-apocalyptic post creatures and stuff like that, but once you start adding bugs into the equation, it's game over. That's a giant bug. I don't want to deal with that bug. I don't like small bugs, big bugs, medium bugs, just bugs in general. Not down with it. Well, if we're going by my UI, yes, it does seem like I'm somewhat hurt. I could also apparently do with a meal, and I could do with some thirst quenching, slightly cold as well. Somewhere in the middle of all those things there. Alright, who's this fella here? All that glitter. All that post-processing glitter. So far, this doesn't look too bad, though, I gotta admit. I'm liking the... the environment. Shift. It's telling me to do something in shift? In Russian? Don't know Russian, but I can understand that shift usually means run, and yeah, it's telling me to run in Russian. Uh, it's, hey, 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 I didn't sign up for that, okay? None of the jump scares, please. Alright, we're good over here? Keep moving, alright, I'll keep moving. I'm just trying to get the entire, like, you know, environment and locale into me, just so we look like, really... Enjoy it, Donna, what? There's something strange here. What do you mean? Wait a minute. I see it. Don't go near it. But what is it, Donna? I've never seen anything like it. Judging by the sensors, this entity emits electromagnetic waves. It could be extremely dangerous. Go around it, but throw something from far away first to figure out how far its effect can reach. Throw a rock into the rupture. I mean... If we're going to be talking serious here, this kind of has a bit of a stalker thing to it, right? I don't think they're exactly anomalies, but... Fairly similar. Okay, what do I toss a rock here? Oh! Okay. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be okay for the human body. So... Hey, hey. Go away. Oh, I'm very close to that one. I got too close to that one. But I think we're fine. Donna, Subject 47 is here. Can you hear it? Hear it and see it. Do you have any idea what this means? Do you remember how they react to living beings? I'm looking for a way to defend myself in case I run into them on the way out. Don't worry. Excuse me? Subject 47. What's a subject 47? Uh, what the hell is that over there? Are you subject 47 or is it that grotesque uh, shadow behind you over there? With the creepy looking claws. That guy sounds like he's going nuts, man. It is to access your area? Yeah, I'm not gonna open that up. 
<gasps> oh, that's a rat. <laughs> you're not subject 47 unless you're, uh, you shapeshift or something. What the hell is this over here? This is what happens when we play God, you know? Like we opened up like some sort of like black hole in the universe. That's why things are happening. Ratman, how you doing? Just hanging out? This guy has no care in, in the world. Get a weapon. Okay, he's got no care in the world. Well, a weapon, that means we're going to fight soon, isn't it? Crowbar? Hey. All right. Now we get to do our little Half-Life thing, don't we? Got my crowbar and everything. Keep moving. I'm sorry, Rad, but I got to give it a try, right? You understand. That's some mighty damn good swing right there, I got to tell you. <laughs> the moment you hit something with a crowbar and it just implodes. Door is blocked. Give me five seconds. You done a pretty good job. Done. Search. Oh, I get to search the dispenser. Hey, look at that! Oh, of course. I love Russia, man. Go into like a vending machine. You could buy some liqueur. Oh man, so you don't have that in the U.S., man. I, I, I guess here in the U.S., they think kids are gonna buy it, which is true. They probably would. <laughs> if you have like alcohol in vending machines, let me tell you. Every kid in the U.S. is going to be walking around intoxicated the entire day. Who the hell was that guy? Yo, that guy had a gun, too. Is he friendly? I hope so. Because crowbar versus gun? I feel mm -mm. bad. Devil only knows why. Doesn't look like I'm wounded. That's what I was afraid of. One second. There's a dining room ahead of you. Followed by several airmail terminals. Head that way. I'll send a first aid kit to Terminal 5 for you. Just hurry. Is that a cucumber? I think he's got a cucumber, man. Empty in that one. I mean, it does seem like I'm a bit hungry. Should I be eating right now? I mean, this is like a prologue. Is this like the actual survival thing? I doubt it. Cucumber and a Labrock mushroom. So... Oh, this one actually poisons me. Yeah, we don't want that one. But I'll take the cucumber. You're there. Terminal 5, Victor. Yeah, one second. Okay, so I imagine that is this brightly lit terminal here that says five. Put two and two together, you know, you got four, but I'm looking for five. Medikid, all right. Let's pop this bad boy uh, in us. That's much better. Time to keep moving. Now we good. Although I am a bit thirsty still. Let's see. Let's get that water in us here. There you go, buddy. Kind of. Not great, but kind of. So, let's see, where the hell are we even going? Keep moving. The home stretch. Donna, Ugh. There's a thick gas cloud ahead. Can you find out what it might be? Donna? Donna, damn it! I hope this is just a connection malfunction. I need to hold my breath and run through. I can make it. Okay. We're just gonna run through that, huh? Okay, let's go for it. No, don't swing. Don't stop the swing, you think is. Alright. So we got through that. All you gotta do is like run. You can hold your breath. I saw like a, yeah, the old two meter down there. Oxygen meter, I guess. Who are those fellas who are very glittery as well? Okay. Those are soldiers. They'll kill me on the spot if they find me. The employers of my own conglomerate. Shooting me in the head. God. I need to get to the other side. Okay. So he did just say my own conglomerate, right? So did I run this place? And if so, why am I destroying it? I'm like Dr. Frankenstein, you know? Created something, now I gotta destroy it. Apparently I saw the evil it did. And luckily for me, I'm a stealth master, so this is nothing to me. All you gotta do is just follow- oh, uh oh. Oh no. Careful. Shh. Shh. I'm still hidden. You didn't see me. I'm still hidden. Okay. Victor, things are really bad here on the outside. All they're saying on the radio and TV is that we're criminals. If they catch us... Don't even think about that. You're safe. I'll be there soon. And together, we'll see our world reincarnate into something beautiful and perfect. Stop. What? Isn't that what you want? No, not that. I spotted movement up ahead. It's subject 47. Oh, Volva. Can you go around? No. This is the only way. Well then, I'll have to destroy my own creation. Just be careful. Please. 
I I am Dr. Frankenstein. I'm destroying my own career. Is that it over there? Deal with subject 47. Well, apparently we're seeing it as criminals. So... Huh. I don't know what it's telling me in Russian. Maybe how to swing, how to fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Just keep moving, keep moving. Okay. Um, what do I do from here? Oh, is that really Subject 47 over there? Oh, okay. Well then. I guess we know what we gotta do, right? We gotta kill our own creation. That's my own creation? He doesn't look so special, though. He's just scratching his head. Alright, Mad Madman? You're not even Subject 47. Good swing, Falcon. Oh, God. He's got, like, eyes on the top of his... No, no, he's got regular eyes. They're freaky-looking eyes, though. I killed it, and I'm okay. Where to next, Donna? One second. All right. There's a door here. It's locked. I don't have access to it. How can we get you out? Wait, wait, let me think. There's gotta be an emergency generator. You need to start it up to get the door open. I don't remember that area. What's there? Behind the door? Freedom, Victor. That sounds good. Use an energy cell to power the generator. Freedom sounds good. This is Subject 47? That's what I created? It wasn't too tough. And that's my creation, and I'm actually fairly disappointed as a scientist over here, especially a mad scientist. Alright, so use an energy cell to power up the generator. Alright, I got a power cell right here. I like that this is like the prologue. Essentially what this is helping us do is just kind of like, um, learn the controls, but at the same time it's giving us like backstory, so it's great. This actually is pretty cool, a little prologue. I like when games do stuff like that. Okay, um... Use an energy to of power- is this the- oh, it is. Where'd you come from? Dude, it's so dark in here. Oh, you just opened up when I put that in, gotcha. Am I safe here? This looks like a wide open area for some particular reason. I did it. I had to. It's my destiny. What are you talking about, dude? You know what? Let's just run through. Gives me the heebie jeebies. My elevator? We're out of here. Of course. They think the worst's already happened to them. How wrong they are. Uh <laughs> Uh, are you using a freezer in place now or what? Okay, cool. Well, I guess we finished the prologue. <laughs> I don't know what he meant about the, if he thinks it's the worst is going to happen. This guy's evil as all hell, man. I guess we were playing as the evil guy, weren't we? Oh, good God. All right, guys. Well, um, I guess I'm going to exit out of here and we'll come back and we'll do the survive thing now. Well, I'm here. On Grinichny. It's been two years since day X. Our world has changed. We've become more dangerous. More foreign. And all because of that damn madman. I joined the volunteer ranks at the New Light Conglomerate, wanting to help return our country and the world to the way they once were. Wanting to eliminate all of the horrible things which now filled our planet. The scum that Ognan had birthed into existence. Our ranks weren't just made up of volunteers, of course. They were prisoners, too. But I thought that was fair. This way they could redeem themselves in the eyes of society, as they proved their usefulness to it. You might find this hard to believe, but Grunichny is pure hell on Earth. That's where it all began. And that's where New Light plans to send it all back to the way it was. In briefing, they told us danger waited for us here, lurking around every corner. Mortal danger. And not just from the creatures that had overrun the island, but also from the illnesses, or so people called the paranormal afflictions. I didn't know much about these things. But I did know I had to stay on my guard. Alright. Well, I guess we're playing as a villain after all. That is pretty cool. And Hello, volunteer. This is 400. I'm your watcher. My task is to guide your activity on Grinichny. This includes giving you missions from the New Light Conglomerate. You are currently located in Bunker Alpha, one of the safest places on the island. To leave the bunker, you need an access card. 
Alrighty, so find the elevator key. Oh, that's convenient. I have the card. Time to get out of here. Bunker Alpha. So this is an entire bunker. Is it just me or does this kind of remind you a little bit of like Resident Evil 1? The mansion anyway? This looks really, really awesome. Alrighty, let's get on out of here. I guess we'll turn this light off. Hopefully it's daytime. There's a day and night cycle in this game. So hopefully we get some daytime mess around with first. Volunteer. According to my sensors, they tell me that the door has been opened. That means you have exited the bunker. You are unable to reply at the moment. Two-way communications are down. The island's comm station is not transmitting. You must determine what is wrong with it. The station is located in the Lighthouse of Hope. Let's look at our map here. We got a map. F8. F8 down. Okay, so apparently down there for the lighthouse. Perfect. I guess for now we're running. This is where it comes into the entire, like, you know, post-apocalyptic stalker type of thing. Got a rundown society over here, got trains, got warehouses. This is totally awesome, right? Now, what are you supposed to be? Monolith. Journal updated. For what? Repairing this device will allow you to resurrect this location upon debt. Oh, we need a metronome and two and a gas lamp for this. Got it. Well, for now, I'm going to keep my main quest, but um, metronome and gas lamp. You got it, buddy. All right. This looks really good. This looks really good. The the uh, the environment is what kind of makes these games for me. And this right here is uh, are those anomalies over there? Those are anomalies. Oh man! All I need is somebody to come over here and be like, "Get out of here, stalker!" And I'll be right at home. Is that a dude? Yeah, there's like a dude over there, like shaking back and forth. I ain't talking to that guy. He looks rather insane. Mail tube. I could send something. It's like you know, Russian post-apocalyptic, you know, emails. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Cabinets, let's see if we can find some goods here. Got apparently some barbed wire. Lighter, maybe, and some sort of musical box, perhaps? That's about it here, huh? I'll try to get a weapon here as soon as possible, because I feel like um, we shouldn't be fighting anything barehanded. We gotta get some weapons happening, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So, that's water frozen over. It does, it does look pretty chilly out here, so that would indeed make sense. Um, let's see. I guess it, it, it would probably serve in my best interest to kind of go through these barrels as we move towards this, the... Oh, is it a metronome? You all got a metronome just now. So it'll be just random loot, huh? Okay, cool. So if we get a gas lamp, we'll be able to get that... Journ... Dad... Not journal, but that monolith up and running. Oh, by the way, as you look into the crafting menu, as I mentioned, I believe there's a really big crafting mechanic in the game because there's a bunch of stuff to collect. It's kind of like, what the? Oh, excuse me. Jeez, Louise, I caught that by the corner of my eye and it freaked me out. That's the whale. That's the whale. What is this whale doing over here, man? Uh. Some more items, nails, all right, make sure to collect all that. I'll look into the crafting menu pretty soon, but... You got a whale? Look, man. I don't claim to be a marine biologist, right? But whales don't have eight eyes. I'm just saying. They don't got all these flippers, either. You're not a whale. You're like some sort of Martian or something, dude. You don't belong in this world. Toolbox. Still no proper weapon, unfortunately. That it... That guy wasn't there before. Yo, I need to get a weapon here as soon as possible. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Got a knife and a gun. That's not the knife. DC's is a knife. Alrighty. So, at least... Excuse me? Are you guys... You guys see that, right? Yo, this is like some world world stuff right here happening. No. No, that's just creepy, dude. That's awesome. You know what I like about that? That it doesn't seem to be like a scripted event. That is awesome. Like, it's freaky as hell, but it's awesome. Oh, there's some admin over there. We should probably run. We should probably run. Okay. Like, I got a weapon I can fight him and everything, which I probably will at some point, but we should be making ourselves towards that lighthouse because that's my objective.
Oh, I'm being chased. Okay, let's deal with this guy then. Oh, so we're gonna miss. Alright, he's down. Apparently I took his belt. <laughs> Just took his belt. Right off his pants. I was like, I'll take that belt, buddy. You don't deserve that belt. Let's just get to the lighthouse over here, and we'll start wrapping it up. We might have to deal with this that fine gentleman over here. And by fine gentleman, I do mean madman. Maybe. Or maybe he'll just walk by. Do you want to keep walking by so we can just get around? Yes, I can. Good on you, buddy. No sense this killing around for this guy. Alright, so... And we have a hanging body. How welcoming. Cool. Well, we made it here, and thus far I'm, I'm fairly intrigued by what this game has to offer in terms of the open-worldness. There's a lot of items, apparently. We can indeed craft, which we didn't look into. So, is this thing over here to make me cold again? Because I feel like we probably do need it, so we could craft some salva joint! You know, after seeing that War of the Worlds monster, a joint might not be the worst thing out there for us, right? So there's that. Cool. So, if you guys want to see, do see a bit more of this, do let me know and we shall come back to it. I'm digging it thus far, especially that creepy mutant out there. That was something else. Um, other than that, all the information will be down below. I will catch you next time.